Hi, gonna do a squirrel with a bit of joinery just to give it a bit of movement. I've made a template so you'll get a good idea quite early on as to how it's gonna how it should shape up. Right, I'll crack on. So I've cut, I've cut this about four inches wide. And I've made up a template. So you can see kind of what I'm planning on doing. It kind of makes it easier. Little squirrel. He's, he's going to be landing on here. So and I'm gonna join the I've got an additional bit to do the the, the back end and the tail. So I'll get that cut out.
that's the front end done. Now I'm going to do from sort of behind the shoulders onwards. So that's just a temporary fix because I want to make sure it's nice and smooth and I'll glue it but uh, initially that's just there so that I can get all the, the details in and get it properly shaped by blending the, the back end to the front end.
we've got to so far. I'm not going to shape it too much yet. Not until um, I've got like this uh, glued into position exactly where I want it. And then, yeah, then I'll get on with the, the, the detailing. I'll catch you at the workshop. Well, got a valuable lesson today. I glued and screwed the two bits of the squirrel together and I didn't want to leave the screws in. I wanted to replace them with doweling, but obviously when you're trying to fix bits together, you just want to hold them still whilst they glue together. And uh, I screwed them in and three screws in to hold it in place and each one sheared off so I did another squirrel and put three screws in didn't even put them all the way to, to home and took those out each one sheared off so lesson is don't buy cheap screws. Um, I didn't think they were cheap screws. These ones are called Turbo Gold and it's got the professional's choice. I'm not going to use them anymore. I'm going to stick with the hex hex head ones like that but they were just a bit too long for what I really wanted on this occasion so I'll get some I'll get some shorter versions of this but um, what I've done is I've put some doweling in code and screw some doweling in but it does mean that there's screws just under the surface so the original one that I did um, I'm going to leave but this was the second attempt but there's screws just under the surface and screws and chainsaws don't really mix so hopefully I'll hopefully I won't hit them too much <laughs>
him done. I hope you like him. Please like and subscribe. I've got over 300 subscribers now, which is pretty good. Um, although they tell me that only about 10% of the people who watch it have actually subscribed. So there's loads of people watch it, but they're not hitting the, not thinking to hit the button, but they're watching it several times. It would really be nice if you can ping that button if you haven't already done so. If you have, thanks very, very much. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.